test the test the one two one two can y'all hear me can y'all hear me all right so look i'm gonna cut it just like this uh i wasn't originally you know want to do this but it's been on my heart for some time now so i'm gonna cut straight to it uh maybe a year and a half ago i was in a spirit and uh i wasn't of this world as you would say and um i had wrote something and um i have found this email today by mistake and um let's get straight to it it goes something like this the day i knew it will rain is the name of the title during my pain, Yahweh showed me myself through pain, stress, depression, wickedness, experiences, people, drugs, liquor, sex, money, loyalty, social media, the poverty, friends, co-workers, family, etc. My new path to me is called an awakening. Rebirth, knowledge, wisdom, discernment, trials, foresight, hindsight, intuition, dreams, angels, ancestors, shooting stars, mother nature, animal, kingdom, brother, Mother Earth, Bible, the wisdom Yahweh has shown me is unbelievable, uh, unconceivable. No way for a human understanding beyond the physical realm. The hardest part of it all is telling or trying to explain to the people you love, care for, and expect to listen as best as possible of the words from the spirit or from the truth from the most high. I have a gift inside me that I can't explain. Sometimes I ask, Am I the only one? All in all, I know deep down inside, my message will be heard and felt more ways than one because the truth always set you free and the truth always come to the light in due time. Sometimes, if not most of the time, they look at me as if I'm crazy, but with knowledge comes wisdom and I understand not everyone are ready for the, you know, their ears to hear of what I speak of. I no longer wish nor have the desire to help those I have attempted to uh, hear my words of wisdom from the Holy Spirit brought forth to me by the grace of the almighty most high Yahweh. Over the past few months, I have been doing a lot of extensive research for the sake of my quest and never ending thirst for knowledge. I have been doing a lot of research to get a better understanding self purpose. That purpose concludes of and consists of self love, spiritual understanding of where I come from, family, etc. During my time off from working as a full time truck driver, I have had many experiences, some of which I cannot explain. Most of my life, I have always been the king, kind of person who enjoys life being alone. I find myself at peace. Being alone gives me much peace and meaning. Being alone is great because I feel a deep connection to, to Yahweh. Sometimes, if not most times, I feel his presence all around me. The more I get closer to him, the more I get closer to Yahweh. My days far as the feeling of the time does not equal to the Yahweh time in each day. The feeling far as time, I feel more of a level of solar time, or you can say a everlasting continuous spiritual rim of being on awakening time i've always known my mind body and spirit there has been a higher power watching over me throughout my life experiences to till this day i wonder if he will take me on a journey to show me heaven to be a witness but in due time that day will come only when he is ready and my work here on mother earth is done part one of my awakening i have acquired wisdom and a few keys of knowledge to my life meanings. And then I had wrote what those keys are. Water is above Mother Earth, Jeremiah 1013. Asian man lives to the age of 256 years old. Secret to a long life is number one, keep a quiet heart. Number two, sin like a tortoise. Number three, walk spiritless like a pigeon. Sleep like a dog, peace of mind combined with breath, breathing techniques equals longevity, herbs equals long life. Western meds is not the answer. These are the results of Western effects on what not to do if you want to live a long life, breathing polluted city air, no sugar or flour, no foods with pesticides sprayed on them, no living off the standard American diet, no surgery, no sugary desserts, no fatty meats, and no genetically modified foods, no drugs, no alcohol, nor tobacco, if you want to live a long life. Spend time in nature, practicing breathing techniques, keep things simple. 
proper sleep, proper time in the sun, spiritual well-being, treat your body right and your body will treat you right. DMT, all y'all is creation, living being and mother earth has DMT. The only way to unlock DMT, the natural way is to fast for seven days in complete darkness. We don't want to be foolish, but in order to understand foolishness, we ourselves have to be the fool at some point. Wisdom is better than strength. When you speak the truth, it tends to reign. A humble man is a wise man. Hebrews 13, 2. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels. Experience bring knowledge. Fools despise wisdom. Yahweh is trying to strengthen me to show them who I serve. It's the journey, not the destination sometimes in life. So don't always be in a hurry. Five senses for the devil to enter. These are to prepare you, you know, to block it, basically. Uh, these are the ways the devil can enter you. Uh, five senses for the devil to enter. Number one, eyes, sight, lusting, TV, etc. Number two, ear. Hearing, uh, hearing words, music, people, etc. Three, tongue, food, words, drugs, alcohol, etc. Four, touch, physical, masturbate, adultery, killing, rituals, etc. Number five, drugs. Well, number five is nose, your nose, uh, drugs, smoking, chemicals, toxins, etc. Give Satan an inch, and he will be your ruler. Mark of the beast. Uh, and I wrote this in what, 2019. Um, yeah. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and, um, I appreciate, appreciate you guys for tuning in for this spiritual message. I'm chasing stacks and I just wanted to tell y'all guys my testimony. Thank you for joining in. Peace. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe too. And don't forget to comment. Thank you.